So wait, so are we inside the car? car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were safe inside the car when he fucking just blew up like a little blood grenade. All right. Uh, I try to clean off the thing so it isn't so there right. the. All right. You smear the blood around. There you go. All right. Um. Hmm. Now here's the real question. Do I take uh -huh. him to a medic? He will be fine. That's what other people would say. So. Uh, they do say that an awful lot. Yeah. Um, I'll take him to back to the motel. Try to... He's got blood all over him and shit. And he's passed out. All right. So. <laughs> How do I explain this one? Um, right. Hmm. You're driving around with him in your car. That looks like a blood grenade went off inside of it. Mm. I can't accept first aid on him again. Um, can yeah, I just a hero point to redo the first aid? If you really want to, but I'll, I'll be nice for you. You're dead. You don't know. You're right. really not. Yeah, yeah. I'll spend a hero point, and I'll also play a card that gives up plus five percent. All right, roll that shit. Good luck. Remember this. It's a, so I just put a five in moderate in a uh, modifier, right? Yeah. Or skill, gotcha. And then click out of it and then roll the skill. Hey. Yeah. No problem. You made it by half, which is exactly what you need. Roll it. Uh, first, get rid of the modifier from the yeah. bar. Then roll a d3. A d3? Mm hmm. Okay. Freddy gains back two hit points, still unconscious. What do you think? Bleeding at the start, or is this still? Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you uh, figure that the best way is either stuff some bandages in his throat to keep more blood from coming out, or you can <laughs> apply a tourniquet to the neck and now keep the blood inside of his, his body. Slog in his throat. Um, yeah, he doesn't need that. Yeah, I thought we could just. Yeah, but you, you've got him as patched up as you can get him. He's just not becoming conscious for some fucking reason. <laughs> It's irritating. I wonder how much the embassy would pay to have his uh, body. They might give you a hot meal, which you could really use right now. Mm. Fortunately, you realize you're going to save $4 tonight because you don't have to buy him food because he has passed the fuck out. Nice. I don't, <laughs> I don't have to pay for his room. Or do I stop well, for you know, there there's a problem because they're letting two of you sleep in the same room for the same price as one of you so all right so freddie you just sleep in the car there's no way i'm gonna pay for the rooms and sheets um <laughs> all right so you're gonna try back to the hotel and leave a bloody body sitting in the car <laughs> and go check into a room and get some sleep is that what I'm, is that correct mm -hmm. On second thought, what do you do with the bloody body? That's a good yeah, question. an unconscious bloody body. Um, I'm not saying if he's unconscious or dead, could be both. Right now, it's he's a Schrodinger Freddy. You don't know if he's alive or dead or what. Um, can we make an analysis roll to see if he is dead? Give me a first aid roll to figure out if he's dead or not. Ready and dead. <laughs> uh, you don't think he's dead, but he's not coming around. This Would you like to slap him around a bit? I, I, I try to gently wake him. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to wake him up. Wake up. Wake up. He does not wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I'll take you to the suit. And we'll put you in the swift uh, center station if you don't wake up. He continues. Uh, if he's faking being unconscious, he has mastered this shit. <laughs> hmm. What are you going to do with him? It's, a great there in an alley. it's night. Oh. And you look like you just shot him in the face with a pistol or something because there's blood all over the goddamn car. Um. 
I just thought of something. <laughs> I, 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 I had an evil thought for a second. What do you do? Oh, crap. What did I do? Um, I don't know. What do you do? I, I guess... Um, I guess I take him to a local hospital. Okay. You drive him to the uh, hospital and whatnot. They come running out and get him on the stretcher and stuff. And they ask for your ID. And they want to know what happened. So me and my uh, associate were uh, investigating uh, some business. And he fell down and hit his head. And... Um, Injured himself pretty badly, as you can see. My God! <laughs> All right, yeah, they 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 going to uh, they're we're gonna we're gonna take him in. Oh my God, he may be in a coma. They say. Let's see what how their first aid does. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, he's he's not dead. He's just unconscious. We're gonna put him in a room and whatnot. Um, yeah. Uh, are you his next of kin? Um, I see, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We need you to fill out these forms. Do you have insurance? Uh, I, 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 I pull uh, an MC card or... Uh... You begin looking through your IDs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looking for... Uh... Uh, let's just put it on Freddy. Does he have insurance? Hopefully. Uh, oh, you don't know? Okay, well, yeah. that, we need you to fill out these forms. All right, great. Um, cut two. Let's see. Uh, where, where do you want to go while he's in the hospital room? They're keeping him under observation, whatever so that is. Approximately, uh, how long will he be uh, in for treatment? They, they, they don't know what's wrong with him. Gotcha. So they're going to keep him for a night for observation. Gotcha. So where would you like to be? Do you want to stay here with them? We can bring you in a pillow and a blanket. Um. Mm, sure, why not? Great. 3 a.m., Freddy suddenly sits up and looks at you. Oh. Do I have a low pilot to heal or no? Uh, yes. Yes, you do. I thought you were dead. Oh, not really, but... One um, point back, Freddy. Yay. 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 So, quick question. About magic points, how do I get those? Um, what's your essence? Uh, ten. That's how many magic points you have. Gotcha. Um, if you use if you use up all of them, well, act, actually, ask Freddy what happens with magic points because he's the one teaching you spells, so That's it's true. his fault. So, Freddy, uh, what happens when you have no more magic points? Magic what now? Oh, you mean juice? Right. Yeah. Well, why am I in the hospital? <laughs> why am I? Oh, let's just say uh, you hit your head pretty hard. And oh, I probably passed out, didn't I? Yeah, blood goes everywhere. Yeah. Got... See, this is why yeah. I get the big fancy car. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you it turns run from out of juice. inside to a dark red. He ignores you and keeps babbling about his car. And not about the car. Look, if you run out of juice, you go unconscious. And well, yeah. sometimes that can happen because the universe hates me. Yeah. So uh, it's the whole entire galaxy. Or... Nurse comes in and goes, Oh, you're awake. I'll get the doctor. She hurries off. <laughs> I, I start like. Uh, get, I start Good like. Which uh, hospital did I go to? Uh, you went to St. John's Teaching Hospital. It was close. All right. 
I start like grabbing all my stuff and okay, uh, ready for this. let's see. Uh he's got your weapons. Uh there's no you have apparently one don't weapon. Okay. One weapon. Which is a gun? Yeah. Cool. Oh, Freddy, do you punch into insurance? What? No. Um, well, that was good. Uh, I pet snack. They they appear to have uh, stolen your shirt, but your pants and underwear are still there, as well as your socks and shoes, Freddy. Oh, I got that. Uh, you have no shirt. Other than that, you're fine. Yeah, fine. You're dressed. The doctor comes in. Oh, I don't think you're ready to check out. We want to keep you for observation until the morning, sir. Um, I'm fine. All right. Well, we'll just need to get some uh, papers filled out for releasing you. It'll just be a bet. We'll I pat here. Vince Stick on the back. Room. What? Yeah, he'll take care of it. I'm s all right. That's uh, fine. Um, yeah, they have you fill out more paperwork, Vince. Uh, give me a bureaucracy roll. Ooh, bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. Bureaucracy. Oh. You notice that all the charts and stuff have your name on them, Freddie. Mm. It's almost like somebody had access to your IDs when they were going filling out all this goddamn paperwork. Mm. Right. And he signs a bunch of stuff. He doesn't seem to understand what he's signing or why. He just signs a bunch of stuff and, my soul it and says, Very good. All right. And um, yes, yeah. Thank you very much. All right. So, but he looks super suspicious as you guys are leaving. You, let me see that. Other sure, a yeah, bureaucracy role. Uh, the doctor is happy to hand you uh, uh, some of the copies of the paperwork. Uh, he gives the originals to a nurse who takes them away, sure. far away, sure. and hides them. It's too late, Freddy. Oh, yeah. Huh? You don't really understand it either. It's some sort of like release forms and stuff. Maybe it keeps you from suing the hospital or something. So. All right. Great. And Thanks you guys, help. yep, you get back into the car. The seat crunches under you and stuff. You can feel dried blood against your skin, Freddy. Um, oh. You're sitting there using your ID to flake it off of the windows and stuff so you can see the full thing. It's disgusting. It looks like the car just sat in the fucking parking lot for hours. I, I hand in Becca's gear and equipment. No oh, problem. Uh, you want to strap on your pistol that you have no shirt to cover up? I mean, I have a gun holster still, so. So on. Uh, I think I'll get a t shirt. I look for like a coat or something in the back of a car or something. God, you wish you owned extra clothes, you think. <laughs> but, you know, you guys come out with just the one set you're wearing and nothing else and then wonder what happened to your clothes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, something about them cutting off Freddy's shirt because they thought his face was all fucked up from falling on it or something, even though they later couldn't find any wounds. Anyway, so. All right. Yeah. Now that we are being uh, watched or something, uh, yeah, you actually cast a spell and did very, very horrible. It was a uh, bar where you kind of suicided. That happened. Oh. Gotcha. I've learned to accept it. <laughs> Look, so uh, telling them that you can use witchcraft and wizardry. I didn't tell them anything. Yeah, no. So, what are you guys going to do now? Hmm. I check out the house. Well, it's three in the it's morning. At three in the morning. The house. It's a great time to go. So, Freddy, you want to teach me another spell? No. Sure. <laughs> teach me something I can. You guys are sitting in the hospital parking lot. It's a fairly active place. People are coming and going because. Oh, uh, yeah, but then. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, look. Let's just. Uh, 
we a.m. Uh, I need to get a t-shirt. So why don't we just get an early breakfast or something? Yeah, you don't have a shirt. Um, yeah, I know, but I want to buy one. Shop isn't open. So we need to wait for the shop to open and buy a t-shirt. Oh. Alternatively, I can go to the embassy and grab one, but I can't come back. <laughs> so. Pretty. I got two yeah. questions. Yes. Uh, I got fancy footwork, which is for martial uh, arts, if you want that. Yeah. I also got a replenish card. Mm. Not sure. Um. Let me get rid of this real quick. No, how am I? Unless you want to get rid of something, I'm like. Um, the only one that I can see uh, being helpful for mainly you is fancy footwork. I mean, I have a gun, but man. Yeah. If I had my sword with me, sure, but I don't, so. Alright. Really, not really going to be useful. Alright. But hang on to it for now. Yeah, I have the replenish, a full uh, revision, a victory, uh, intimidation, this weapon, so it's forward. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so, um. Question. Um, I don't think I got this down, but how much uh, magic points does cure poison dash disease self take? Uh, it should be two. Gotcha. All right. All right. Thank you for that. No yeah, well. Did you want me to teach you another one or? Yeah. Sure. More merrier. I'm going to teach you another one. Probably fail because I'm bad. More blood. Uh -oh. Oh, right, I'll do it. All right. <clears throat> and then? All right, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just... Oh, Logan, if I play a plethora of penguins and replenish our food stores, mm -hmm. what, what would that do? Would that just give us food for the day or what? Sure. I, okay. I get, actually, I won't charge you for food for the rest of this adventure. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'll play that. Go out in the back and uh, steal from. The back seat fills up with cans of blood spackled food. All right. Uh, we'll just numb on some of that. All right. And then, um, yeah, because I can't go back to the embassy. Uh, someone hasn't walked the pattern yet. I'll let him. And um, I'll wait for the shops to open. Cut to, let's see. Um, so, cut to six hours of sitting in the car looking at each other. God damn, you're so bored after six hours that you're like, I spy. <laughs> I spy something red. <laughs> okay so you guys head to the store um you yeah. get a t-shirt for eight dollars that's an expensive t-shirt yeah why so much okay i'll pay for it eight dollars it's got a plain white t-shirt or something all right cool i paid for that um, um well, Shall we? let's test the water. They do have a $5 t-shirt that says the eyes have it. Or the $8 t-shirt that's just red. No, but let's just get the red t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. For two reasons. <laughs> Does it not very noticeable blood stains? And B, Freddy can't take eyes that well. See, that's why it's $8, Freddy. It's worth mm. it. Fine. All right. Do you want to go to the house now? I um question. After we have a first aid or a med kit and we attempt first aid, 
and we succeed, do we get rid of the med kit? No, it, it's good for like two or three uses. Gotcha. So I have like one more use. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should probably get a new med kit soon. They're not that expensive unless you have no money, in which case they're super expensive. Well, how much are they here? Uh, you're not really sure. Do I go shopping for one? Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to take a look at the prices. Hey, you find one that you can get for like twenty dollars. Seems yeah. okay. Yeah, no thanks. Super expensive, you think? All right. So drive out to the house. Um, I think so. Yeah, do you want to make a driving roll or? No, no need. I right. look you're driving like a maniac. You made it for the adventure, you're fine. Oh, I got you. You guys pull up. New office oh. business. Before we, like, oh, damn it. Vince, yep. I want you to pull over, like, a bit further away. I need to prepare a man. <clears throat> Just make sure there's no people. What? Around. No people around? Where yeah. are we? Pull up, pull up by that tree over there. Just... Hey, it takes you well out of your way because the house is actually in like a business district that has all kinds of slay stack wandering around. So he has you drive back over near the Chapel of Contemplation, which is kind of a run down, deserted neighborhood. Gotcha. He nice. begins to scream, yell, and twitch again. Right, That's up. Ready. <laughs> what? I'm fine. Go. Oh. Ready. They're calling for you. What are you talking about? I I'm don't know why that ready. did it twice. Hello? What? You hear his voice over and over saying, Freddy, they're calling for you. You're not sure what it means. What are you talking about? Apex Predator. Are you sure you're not the one doing coke? <laughs> I just twiddled my thumbs. No. Never tried it. All right, I'm done. Yeah, we can go now. All right. Right. Now, are you cruising to the place, or? Yeah. You get there. New offices and businesses have replaced almost all the homes, except for the Blackwood place. It's overgrown, front yard, Perfect. It's a private residence on the block. The rest of the buildings stand tall and white. The old Blackwood place is like a rotten tooth in the middle of them. Yeah. All right. Give me danger sense, six sense danger sense rolls. I mean, we know it's dangerous. It's perfectly safe. Yeah. yeah. Care without a care do, in the world. Do, do, do. Freddy's like, I feel ominous. Ominous. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, there's dead carcass over there. There's so. In, Freddy's, in, in Freddy's mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, it's be a nice vacation home. <laughs> what else? I'm gonna just buy it from the landlord and keep it as a little uh, home base. Yeah. Just, just go in. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's no map for this place, but it's really easy to figure out. It's there's um. What the fuck is the front door? It's not that goddamn easy. Okay. On the ground floor, there's uh, windows and a front door. No, uh, there is a back door. And on the uh, and then on the second story, there's windows. The place appears to be pretty narrow. It's more long. It's not a nice square house. It's narrow. Uh, are the windows boarded up or... Um, no, no, they're not. I mean, you can uh, is there a, go in if you wanted. Is there a basement door thing outside? Yeah. Oh, for a coal chute type deal? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, there Let's is. Let's go there first. All right. Let's go. All right. You guys rattle it for a while. You don't have a key for it. Yes, we do. Not for the coal chute. Oh. And it's got a chain on it. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be boarded up from the inside as well. It's got some sort of chain with a lock on it. Uh, let me open it. Hold on. I'll grab my lock pick. And go around with it. Bobby pins. Sure. Five plus five. Mm -hmm. I'm too lazy to add the plus five, so I'll just do it in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, there we are. Cool. Yeah, he pops off that lock, takes out the chain. Definitely boarded from the other side. You know, nothing that you can get to, but something's got it from the inside too. No, they probably it. nailed some boards to it or some shit. Does it doesn't look like anybody's used a coal chute in a long time since they have electricity and shit. Okay. Let's try to slam it open. Yeah, you could maybe kick through it if you wanted to. Yeah, but it's a coal chute. It's not it's not a basement. I, I'm I'm wondering if his body's been buried here or not. Like yeah, I said in the report. Article. Yeah. Inside the coal chute, or I doubt it will be in the coal chute. It no, could be in the coal chute. However, if he's in blackface, that would be not politically correct at all. <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, trying to kick it down. I break a few toes in the process. You might. Uh, why don't we just... I mean, you could, but you do have keys for the front door, literally. Yeah, let's just go inside. There might be a basement inside. All right. That we can go down. You guys head over to the front door. There's some sort of weird design above the uh, front door. Hold on a second. It's not the one that's already unveiled. I will unveil it for you, though. The design above the front door looks like this. Oh, for fuck. I actually know what this is this time. Yes. This is Zong's minion Triskelion symbol. Finish. Probably just coincidence. Anyway, I actually you know what's happening this time. Yay! Yay! I'm afraid the more you play, the more you know what's up. <laughs> you guys head in to the. Uh, you guys unlock the door and it creaks ominously open. Cool. You go inside, and it looks like on the left there are three different doors. On the right, it goes door. And then a long way door, and then at the end of the hall, it looks like uh, goes T T intersection. Hmm. So I'd just say let's just stick to the left to begin with. Um, nice and logical. Okay. Mark out the place. No problem. Just so you know the layout, it's super simple. There's. Uh, uh, six rooms uh, downstairs, and then there's stairs going down, stairs going up. I'll just deal with the rooms on the ground floor and run you around in the order I've got them. Make life a little easier. Yeah. Room number one is a storage room filled with boxes and old junk, such as rusted water tanks and old bicycles. At the right end of the room is a cupboard that appears to be boarded shut. Hmm. We want to try to unboard the capital. That's not suspicious at all. It's super suspicious. <laughs> yeah, it's just at it. All right, I'm going to wait outside. You unboard it. Wow, thanks for the moral support. You're I'll welcome. Unboard. Unboard. Right. Uh, give me a simple strength roll. Uh, let me know when you're done. Right. He forgets to use a crowbar or anything like that and just pops off the boards with his bare hands because he's super tough. 
Uh, the boards are off. If you want to have Freddie come over and open it so that he can get blown up by whatever is spreading. It's all safe now. Take a few steps. I close the door open and put my head in. Mm -hmm. um, it's not open. Open it. You open it. I'm not going to open it. No, no. I said, no, you open it. You're the oh, fearless fine. leader. Yeah. I'll, I'll open it. You need to be the apex predator. <laughs> He's starting to sound like his old man, which is fucking great. I know. You open it up, and inside you find three bound books. They appear to be old as shit. Hmm. Now, can I take a danger sense to see if they're kind of... The books, what pot harm could possibly happen? Oh, no, you said bound. Uh, sort of... That means they have covers on them and shit. Gosh, yeah, all right. They're, it's not, they're, they're not tied up or anything. Are you dead yet? All right, all right, I'll go pick up a book. Okay. I'm going to slowly open up the cover. Nothing bad happens. On the inside of the cover, oh. it says that it's a diary of somebody named W. Period Blackwood. Mm -hmm. so this is William Blackwood. Um, can I look at the other two di or the other two books? They are the same. It's all actually one big, long-ass right, book. So volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. Exactly. Uh, so, Freddie, uh, we got some books. Did you read them? I don't know. There are like three whole entire books. I'm not going to read a bunch of books in a haunted manner. Oh, but, but you opened one? Yeah, they're fine. And you're not going inside. Ah. I'm sure if a camera was here looking at the two of you, one hiding outside, peeking through a crack in the door, going, Is it open? You know, they wouldn't say that the guy standing there with an open book going, It's fine, is the crazy one of the two. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go in. Have a, look. a bear trap comes and gets him. No, anyway. <laughs> no. Um, Hilarious, though. I want to read the last page of each book. Uh, I feel like every kid did this and uh, when you were required to read a book. Just leave the very last page. No problem. It's a bunch of scary stuff in there and all that. Um, it, it mentioned something about, um, you know, soon my time will come to an end, but I, I shall, I shall continue in the great work. And do you want to just read through the thing and see what's up? Skim through it. Cool. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Roll D4 Sandy there, Freddy. God damn it. He says this is my goes <laughs> ah, a little bear trap in the book. Yeah, hey, bear trap. Ah, it goes stuff. toward this book. So basically you don't need to keep track of where it okay. goes to. You just take four sand. Um, it's got a spell in it, but you can't uh learn it because it's a Cthulhu yeah, yeah. spell. But it apparently can cast uh, some sort of uh, thing that can kill any any anyone, but it um, has a price. It charges a price, uh, but for for it to do so. Mm -hmm. But so you know that anybody else that you can sucker into reading this, if they're a background folk, will learn that spell. It's about Do I know what the price is? Uh, no, no. Okay. What about the right, well. mythos? Pardon? I guess I'll. Okay. Does mythos do much in this situation? Oh, good point. Freddy, you also got to check in your Cthulhu mythos. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Now it doesn't do much in this situation, I mean. Gotcha. All right. Now, that appears to be it in room one. You can't wait for the rest of the house to Ooh, see what's cool. in there. 
Oh, room you, two. Was it just normal storage boxes or? Yeah. Uh, if I skip over the room, that means that there's nothing else interesting at all. Gotcha. So in room two, uh, you find a second storage uh, room. This one mostly devoted to broken furniture. Nothing interesting. Room three is a mud room. There's overcoats, galoshes, hats, umbrellas, stuff like that. Nothing Ooh. interesting. Hat. I love a hat. No problem. He is now wearing some, uh, looks like an old Bavarian uh, wine tasting hat. Next, you guys find the living room. I'm just doing all the stuff on the first floor. It contains conventional furnishings such as radio, couch, stuffed chairs, shelves with just junk on them. A lot of framed pictures of handkerchiefs are on the wall. Uh, uh, it's the slack in uh, with the God of Greed or something. Uh, you guys hear a weird noise from upstairs. It sounds like boom, boom. Oh, well, I like that actually, yeah. Look at the handkerchief. Uh, I take uh, the handkerchief down, or I take the. Uh, oh, it's pictures of handkerchiefs. Oh. In frames. Is it you like know, an actual handkerchief, or is it just a picture? No, it's photos of them. Same way that if you if somebody leaves a picture of Jesus on the wall, it's not the actual Jesus. It's a picture of what they imagine he would yeah. look like, which is usually white. Usually, I, um, I like to try breaking a few frames and looking through. No problem. You guys search around. There's nothing in here that's really that's interesting right. to you. Next room. So, in the dining room. Know. What? This is an event. The religion of the um, great green uncle savior. <laughs> they feared the coming of the great white handkerchief that would obliterate the universe. That That's what this probably is. <laughs> You're knocking. But, um, but yeah, go on. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, religion when you're not raised in it just looks like mental problems for whoever has it. So, yeah. next up, you guys find a dining room. They got a long table in there, uh, built in sideboard, seven chairs, three paces are set, and uh, there's old, dried, rotten rice soup in a big bowl thing in the middle. The last room on this floor is a conventional kitchen, uh, refrigerator stove oven um there's a little bit of food that's in the uh larder um a few bottles of homemade wine you're glad you're not here with kinley or the woman who has no name uh and it looks like uh, uh there's little pellets of shit on the floor give me natural history rolls or yeah natural history God knows what this stuff is, says Vega. It's probably a monster shit. It's definitely a monster shit. Freddy agrees. So, you guys now have a choice between up and down. You heard a noise. You go upstairs and investigate the source of that noise. Oh, what? Are like, the lights on or uh, is it pretty dim? It's really dim. If it wasn't daylight outside, you guys wouldn't be able to see anything. You're thinking if you're going to go into a basement, uh, unless the lights work. They, they do have lights, like electric lights, but you guys haven't played with them yet. Mm -hmm. um, let's, see if the, let's see if the power works. I'll switch the light on. No problem. It comes on. Hmm. Okay. Seems to be working for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it on for now. Okay. Let's go upstairs and have a look. After you, guys, you. <laughs> you guys head upstairs, and it looks like that there's four total rooms and whatnot. You begin working your way through them. Um, one of them is an ordinary bedroom with a double bed, bookshelf, window view. 
some sort of marriage picture of the lady you talk to. She's looking a lot better as long as well as some other guy that may be Vittorio. It's also more framed uh, pictures of various handkerchiefs on the uh, nightstand near the bed is a big elaborate handkerchief that you could actually take and blow your nose with if you want to. Um, next room has got two small beds, toys, dressers, pictures of uh, aircraft and slee stack cowboy toys. The next room uh, contains an, a bed frame, bare springs, empty dresser. Yeah. And the last room up here is the uh, bathroom. It contains a sink, bathtub, um, towels. Um, looks like um, the water in the bathtub is kind of blackish and they're the dripping faucet. That's it for upstairs. Um, um, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like one of those attic things where you pull it down. Ah, good point. Uh, take a card. No, there is not. Uh, I want to go into the room with the giant handkerchief. And okay. I want to put on my magic seeing glasses and just have a look at it. Sure. Cards, right? Uh, I could do this. Um, what do you have? Heal two. Or I have this. Uh oh sure. Well discard something and then play it. Um do you have a crappy card? Not really. It depends what you mean by crappy. Well I'll get rid of it to edition. Okay. Let me see if I had that. Alright, and then I'll All play right. it. Um do we wanna sit can we play well, you it? You might wanna save it. Yeah, I was gonna save it. Just right yeah, pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh okay, so what kind of willpower well is it to use the glasses? Turn on your glasses. I'm going to need a willpower times. Oh, it's not going to be good. Times five. Okay. My God, they work. Uh, it does not appear that the giant handkerchief is in any way magical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking through your glasses, it looks like there's old kind of evilish magic that go in, is in the room with the uh, uh, bed frame, bare springs, empty dresser. Oh, can I analyze that? Go for it. Yep. You think something has been using some sort of telekinesis? Stuff on uh, things in here. Right. That makes you happy, I guess. Freddie, look how happy he looks, Vince. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll second use magic. Who knows? I might just have it teach me magic. He's wearing some really weird looking glasses. Like, have you ever had an eye test where oh, they yeah. have the glasses that have all the little extra lenses and shit? Yeah. He's using stuff that looks like that. You're not sure what's up with it. I'm it looking at magic, Vince. There's magic. Some evil spirit was doing telekinesis. Can I tell how recent? No. No. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, actually, one of the things, one of the yeah. drawers, super recent. Other than that, you're not sure. Hmm. All right, I'm going to... Hmm. Freddy seems to have frozen again. He's just standing there. Or that or he's very weird glasses on. He might start bleeding at any time. Would you like to start slapping him around to help him? Freddy. Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
giving him a card. He's doing the word Freddy thing again. Yeah, well, um, there you go. Immediately, discard one piece of gear. Must okay. be a good piece of gear. GM's right. option. Uh, what would you like to get rid of? I'll get rid of one of my uh, laser pistols. Good choice. Okay. Um. I feel like the spirit was probably recently. Yeah. Mm. He seems to be ignoring you and looking at an empty holster and going, hmm. Just open the. Is there a closet in this room? A small one. Yeah, but it's empty. Yep. Yeah. Freddy, give me a feel roll. Feel. I'm not good at oh, yeah. it. Oh, that's, that's a fumble. Oh, I, okay. I feel. It feels like it's raining a little bit on your head. I look up. Sure. Right in the fucking eye. Ah. You look, he seems to be bleeding from the eye. He needs first aid right now. What do you do, Vince? I look around the room. No, oh, he seems to be bleeding from the roof onto Freddy's head. I move out the way. Can I take a closer look at it? Of the bleeding roof? Uh, if you get taller, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Freddy, come here. I need to stand on you. All right. I boost him up. Right, both of you guys give me acrobatics rolls for hilarity. Do 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 do. Six. <laughs> ah. oh. Right, um, you end up pitching him out of, of like actually, uh, Vince, give me a luck roll to see where you get pitched. Ooh, nice. Ah. You toss him onto the bed. He bounces on the hard springs and works. Oh, um, uh, 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 I'm gonna pop another charge and look at the blood. Wait, is this fresh blood or? Yes. All right. I look at the blood. Did you make what your analyze it? magic? Oh yeah, that, hold on, yeah. Do you want to go smell it? Yeah, you can lick it off of his face if you want to grab hold of his head and start licking it. Still. All right. All right, Freddy, it is one of the elder gods is somehow forcing their way into this dimension using the blood, the power of blood magic. And <laughs> soon they will crack open this dimension like an egg, and then they will be here. So my handkerchief is coming. All right. This <gasps> is... oh, I, I can't. No, I need to be all that. I can't. I can't go around believing that. Cause that'll really mess up the whole thing. I'll spend a heal point. Alright, just a fail. Okay. Eh, you say. Uh, I'll uh, spend one more time. Yeah, oh, no. spend their hero point? Charge. What are you doing now? Spending another charge. It won't give you another roll, but oh, was it? Oh, okay. No. Come on. If you if you if you don't know what it is, you don't know what it okay. is. I thought I just failed to like okay. Yeah. Oh. 
So, Good as mind. far as you know, it's some sort of automatic blood machine made to go on you. No, is this a uh, C. Slacky blood or? Oh, there's a mirror over there, Freddie, if you want to see what the blood looks like on you. Uh, Vince, does it look like blood or is it pink? Um, Freddie, you have a spot or, uh, hmm. He's just staying there. It's like, no, no, I don't want to see myself in the mirror for any reason, he says. <laughs> just tell me what I would see if I was looking in the mirror. And you're like, looks like blood to me. And he goes, I will stay away from any mirrors, reflective surfaces, automobiles, small children. All right, I'll, I'll look in the mirror. <laughs> yes, please stay right. away from small children. You've got, you've got like when you looked up and caught some blood in the eye and then the eye it ran down and you're starting to have this vision of this fucking like, eye. It's like but it's really white and then pure and it's got an eye socket though and with blood coming down and you're charging through the forest on all four screaming in pain and rage as you race through the forest. I need a cup of tea. <laughs> I want to go to the kitchen and make myself some tea. Cool. Uh, how's that Sandy roll coming? Yeah, hold on. Right, he's like, I'm out. <laughs> he just wanders downstairs. Yeah. Oh, D3. Yeah. He says, For one point toward whatever the fuck is going on in your brain. And then give me a listen roll. Oh, that's just Freddy. Just Freddy, sorry. Gotcha. Actually, you give me a listen roll at half, Vince. Maybe. Maybe. Nope. Not a chance. Okay. Uh, Freddy, yours two. is a ball for some reason, Freddy. Oh, oh, that was that's, it. That's yeah, exactly. yeah. You hear a voice saying this, but you're not sure if it's in your head or not in your head. Ah, God damn it. Right. So It says. It says two more voices. And then you go downstairs, make yourself a cup of tea. There is tea here. You get some water, heat it, make tea. <laughs> Feel better. Yeah. Nice. Freddie's just sitting there in the kitchen, drinking a cup of tea, and looking like he just got done sucking a lemon. Freddie, you okay? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I get that you're afraid of eyeball eyes, especially that white paint. What do you have against paint and eyes? Everything. Literally everything. Hmm. <sighs> okay, um <laughs> I think your chest makes fun somebody. Hey, spirit, come talk to us. That absolutely fails to work. Well, it's what's up. The great alien scares me. All right. Well, where do you want to go next? Event. Uh, is it like a furnace in the house? 
Uh, not not on the ground floor or upstairs. So, um, let's switch to the basement. It is I was the afraid you were going to say that. What? I was afraid you were going to say that. After you've That's... eliminated literally every other place. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, I, it's like the only I, other room. I grab my gun. Let's go. All right, when you say grab it, you mean pull it out of the holster, yeah. chamber around, make sure the safety's off, and then... Yeah. Okay. So, we are doing that? What are you doing, Vince? Um, hmm. um, see, I don't think there would be... I want to see if the light source works down here. Or oh, one like other a, thing. I'm going to grab a... Whatever the largest... Um, if they have like a, a can of salt or something, yeah, sure. Okay, so I've got yeah, that. okay. you've got it, 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 it's called Moron's Salt, and it has uh, uh, some kid in the rain looking up, like, huh, at the rain at the sky. All right, right, no problem. The door, you guys head over to the door of the basement. It looks like on your side, uh, there's like a uh, three bolts that you can slide over to keep the door closed in case. Wait, I... On the inside? On our side? On your side, yeah. Hmm. So someone, so something's down there, locked away. Or they just locked the basement. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's one bolt. One bolt. I misread it. Yeah. Why Probably not? Or from opening. Let's open it. You guys open it. Gosh, is it dark down there? There's a light switch on the wall. Okay. Take one stun point as you get a little electric shock. Other than that, it doesn't do anything. The light doesn't come on at all. Give so slacky technology. He curses technology for a while as Freddy's sitting there with a gun going, he hasn't died yet. I don't get to put this in my mouth and pull the trigger until it goes click. <laughs> okay, I, I want Freddy to go first. Uh-huh, no. You're the Not one with the turkey gun. I don't trust you right behind me with a fully loaded... I'm a good shot, don't worry. He's like, I'm a good shot. I mean, I'm a good shot. No, let's go look for. Um, Stop putting things in your mouth and not forward. Let's go look for a flashlight. All right. Um, that might be yeah. one around here. Sure. Give me a luck roll there, Freddy. Lower is better. Got this, Freddy. Preferably two, but uh, just a normal thing. Yeah. One flashlight. It's The battery's a little old every now and then. It flickers, but other than that, it's just. Fine. Is it like one of these gigantic flashlights, or is it like a little dinky? Uh, it's about this size. Gotcha. So I got it. Uh, yeah, exactly. I hand him. I hand him the flashlight. Yeah, yeah. that way you can do the salt. I'll I'll pull out my gun, make sure it's all loaded and stuff. Okay, you get your gun ready. Freddy keeps trying to hand you the flashlight because he is absolutely terrified of everything. Technology scares me too, it's okay. No, no, it's not technology. It's evil spirits that want to kill you. Sure, evil spirits. Just all right. take the flashlight. Yeah, all right, I take the flashlight and we go. You've got Good. the one flashlight. If it goes out, you'll be plunged into eternal darkness. All right, I got you back. Do you by chance have a lighter? No. That's what both of you get for neither of you smoking. So you go over and you step on the wooden stairs that go down. Oh, hold down, on. I do have. Down into darkness. Uh, I'm going to pull out the blue crystal that that uh, shines as bright as a candle when held. Isn't that the thing that we got from our last mission? No, you don't know what this is. Yeah. 
He oh. pulls out uh, apparently a blue color, blue themed cigarette lighter. You're not sure because he's behind you. So good deal. He apparently has kind of a shitty flashlight that's blue. Yeah. The square stairs squeak super ominously as you begin to go down. What are you doing, Freddy? I'm going with him. You guys both go down the stairs together, covering each other's back like a couple of cops. So, uh, both of you guys, give me luck rolls. Give me quarter. Quarter's good. Super lucky. Also as well. Wow. You guys go down the super squeaky, wobbly wooden staircase that feels like it's ready to collapse at any time. But, you know, all is well. You guys reach the bottom, and within the basement are three walls of brick, one wall of wood. There's a super ugly green carpet on the floor. All kinds of shit down here, including metal garbage cans with lids, ancient luggage, a large wash tub with a washboard, a bookcase with an ancient set of encyclopedias, which has fallen apart from weight and age, scattering the tomes to the floor, an old knife with a brown stained, brown stained blade, a couple of boxes marked holiday handkerchiefs, several old cans of paint, several slee stack beanie babies with the tags removed, and a pair of crossed hockey sticks mounted on the wall with a picture of a hockey jersey wearing slee stack mounted above it. 